Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do my Mississippi Spicy Chicken. Now this one's all about the heat and the dry rub I'm gonna put on the outside of this chicken. No marinade, no glaze at the end, just the meat, the spicy rub, and the smoke. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's get to cooking. So for this chicken recipe, I picked up some leg quarters at my local grocery store. I haven't done anything to them. They were already thawed out. But what I am gonna do is take some paper towel and try to get all the moisture I can off the chicken. If there's anything that you wanna take off, any little feathers or pieces of skin that's hanging or anything, you can pull that off. But these look really good and clean. You just wanna take paper towel and get them cleaned up and dry as possible. So now I'm just flipping them over on a sheet pan. You could do this on a cutting board or any kind of platter. And I wanna get some oil on the outside. We took off the excess moisture, but we need some oil to help the seasoning stick and it's gonna brown the skin and make it to where it gets a little bit crispy on the smoker. I've got some peanut oil, I've used cooking spray. Any kind of fat that's gonna stick to the meat and help it brown up is gonna work. You don't need a whole lot, just a thin coat. Now let me tell you about the seasoning. I started with some coarse ingredients here. Coarse kosher salt, cracked black pepper, garlic flake, onion flake, but it's spicy because I added four different peppers. We've got the coarse black pepper, cayenne, crushed red pepper flakes and white pepper all bring it at heat. I even added some herbs to prevents in there to kind of give us an herbiness that goes really great with chicken. And this is what's gonna make kind of a crust on the outside. I've just got it in a wide hole shaker dredge here. Just giving it a good shake. I want it covered. That looks perfect on the back side. Let's flip them over. We gotta do the same thing. You wanna tuck the skin down so it stays put. Need a little bit of peanut oil on the skin side. Now this is gonna be the pretty side. This is where we can get that skin a little bit crispy. And I'm keeping one hand dirty for working with chicken. I got one hand that stays dry. Now I'm ready for the spicy chicken seasoning on the skin side. I'm gonna make sure I get it coated. I want that crust. That's flavor right there. Now that looks good to me. I love the fact that you can see all the different textures of the seasonings in this spicy chicken seasoning. That's all gonna stand out and make a nice little bark on top. So for this cook, I'm using my Traeger pellet grill. Put it on 300 degrees, made sure it was full of pecan pellets. Now we got some nice smoke going after about 20 minutes. Cooker's ready to go, so we can put this chicken quarters right on. And I'm just gonna carefully lay them right on the bottom rack. They're gonna cook however you lay them on there, so you're just gonna kinda keep them straight, line them up a little bit so they'll be pretty. I may hit this back one up just where I touched it a little bit. I want it all to look even and nice. Come back over them. We're gonna have some fine eat chicken here in just a little bit. Let's get the lid closed. All right, our quarters have been on for an hour. And this is where I wanna get my thermal pen, see what we're doing internal. The skin's looking great. I'm not gonna do anything else to it. You can see all those spices kind of made a crust on the outside. And what I'm gonna do is just check some of the bigger ones. We're about 140, about 150 on the smaller piece. So I'm gonna get the lid closed in about 30 more minutes. They ought to be ready. It might take 45. We'll come back and check them. I'm wanting to see 175 in the thickest piece of the thigh. That's gonna let me know that dark meat chicken's done. It'll be time to eat some spicy Mississippi chicken. So it's been an hour and 30 minutes total. I wanna peek back in at these leg quarters and I'm betting they're getting close because I'm seeing separation here. Let's check this small one. Look at that, 173, four, that's it. That one's only about 170. I know the two smaller ones are probably right where I want them. That one's a 180, the little one. The big ones may use just about 10 more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some of these smaller ones off. One thing I like about dark meat chicken is it's forgiving. So if it does overshoot just a little bit, it's okay. Take these smaller ones off, let the bigger pieces go about another 10 minutes. That's gonna put us right around that hour 45 total. That's hot and fast spicy chicken right there. This chicken is done. So now, I'm gonna move it to the cutting board so we can take a look at it. Woo. I wanna drop all this good juice. I might need some of that for dabbing a little bit later. Now, I can't just jump right into it. I know it's screaming hot. So I'm gonna give it just a few minutes to rest, and then I'm gonna get me a piece. Five minutes is about all I can take on the rest. I'm gonna get me one of these pieces of chicken. Get my trusty Dexter Russell knife out, give it a good cut. I'm gonna go for the leg first. You can see it is packed full of juice. Skin's got that bark, all those herbs, those spices. I know it's gonna be juicy. Oh man. Woo, got some heat, savory. You taste the herbs, sugar balances it all out. This chicken don't need a sauce. You see how juicy, that juice ran when I bit into it. Holy smoke. That's a winner winner chicken dinner right there. I know the thigh's good. Y'all don't think I'm gonna go in here and get a bite, do you? 
Mm. One second. Oh man, that's some juicy chicken right there. I mean, I love that seasoning on the outside. Let me do a little bit of housekeeping real quick. I'm gonna tell you, simple seasonings, you probably have them in the pantry. You can put that rub together, get it on some chicken. It don't have to be leg quarters. You could do wings, breast, the whole chicken. It don't matter. It would make a fine chicken dinner no matter how you do it. Pair it with a little coleslaw, maybe some baked beans, and you got a Sunday chicken dinner ready to happen. Thanks for hanging out with us today here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And at the end of the week, Shell and I will talk about this Mississippi spicy chicken on our podcast. You can listen to that too. We'll see y'all next time. You see how much juice ran out of that? I when I bit into it, man, it was like a fountain. That's that whack, whack chicken. <laughs> I'm about to tear this thigh up. You know I like them juicy shell. Mm.